there clearly is a major issue in terms of how we make these important findings more widely used. There's a fairly sort of nihilistic view about cancer that there isn't a lot you can do and I think this to some extent has meant that the willingness to try preventative strategies has not been very high. Very different than in cardiology where of course the statins and the antihypertensives are widely used and have had dramatic effects and I think the challenge is to bring that idea into cancer and breast cancer is the way forward because we know more about it, we can identify high risk better, we have agents which we know work, tamoxifen now we know the results last for 20 years, that's particularly important for younger women of course because their lifespan is much longer. So we think tamoxifen is a very attractive option for premenopausal women, possibly as young as 35 at high risk, because five years of tamoxifen gives you at least 20 years and possibly lifetime protection against breast cancer. Well, not a full protection, but a 30% reduction. For postmenopausal women, the aromatase inhibitors do look to be a more effective treatment. Uh, we've looked at anastrozole and other trials look at exemestane, all show more than a 50% reduction of breast cancer with follow-up out now to about five years. So premenopausal women, it's clearly tamoxifen. Postmenopausal women, there's greater options, but the aromatase inhibitors would be probably the first choice in most cases.